just stand with us this morning as we sing? Who breaks the power of sin and darkness? Whose love is mighty and so much stronger? The King of glory, the King above all kings. Who shakes the whole earth with holy thunder? Who leaves us breathless in awe and wonder? The King of glory, the King above all kings. This is amazing grace. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love that you would take my place, that you would bear my cross. You laid down your life that I would be set free. Oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. into order who makes the earth a son and daughter the king of glory the king of glory who rules the nations with truth and justice shines like the sun This morning, I'm trying something very dangerous. I'm trying to talk while music goes on because professional worship leaders do that, those kind of things. And I, and I usually mess it up. But we are very glad to have you here. Uh, we want to praise Jesus today. We want to sing about the gospel. Um, so let's continue to do so. Let's continue to sing about the story, the good news that is the gospel of Jesus Christ. I love to tell the story of unseen things above, of Jesus and his glory, of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story because I know it is true. It satisfies my life.
story for those who know it best. Seem hungering and thirsting to hear it like the rest. And when it seems a glory, I see. God, we praise you this morning. You may be seated. And good morning, church. Good to be here. Amen? Amen. Thank God for bringing us through all that we came through, and now here we are as his people. And I trust and pray that you will try to keep all that stuff that has been happening during the week. It's hard to do, right? It follows us right in here. But just to focus on his word, focus on the songs as we praise him, focus on God speaking to you. I believe he will speak to all of us in some way this morning. Let's go to him in prayer, please. Father, we come before you and we do acknowledge that you are great, you are God, you are sovereign, and you are worthy of all of our praise this morning. And God, we thank you so much that we can come in this manner and we can worship freely and lift up our voices to you. We can study the word together. We can fellowship as believers. Thank you first, God, so much for the freedom to do that. God, it's something that we can do each and every week, and sometimes it's easy to take it for granted because there are other brothers and sisters across the world, God, who don't have this freedom. Some are given their lives for even gathering and worshiping in your name. So we thank you. We stop and we recognize that this morning and pray, God, that we would indeed worship you this morning together as your people with all that is within us. Lord, we want to be more like Christ. Father, we want to live our lives in a way that honors, glorifies you, in a way that we can be used to spread the gospel, show the light, the truth. We want to be all of that, but God, we fail you so many times. And so we come before you today recognizing that, thanking you for Jesus Christ, Thanking you for the cross, thanking you, God, that our salvation is secure in what Christ has done for us. And even when we fall, Father, there's forgiveness each and every time. Thank you, God, that we don't have to work for our salvation, that Christ has paid it all for us. And I pray that that truth would just be burned in our hearts today, even as we continue to worship, as we hear the word preached. Be with Pastor Doug. God, I pray that you would just give him the power to say those things, God, that you've laid on his heart. And Lord, that as a result of meeting here today, we indeed will see Christ more clearly. And God, you would work in our hearts, show each of us what it is that we need to do to become more like him in our day-to-day living. Father, thank you so much for Jesus. Thank you for our salvation. Thank you for all those that are here today. We pray for your blessing. In Christ's name, amen. Thank you. 
You are 
of wonder at the mention of your name. Jesus, your name is power. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. For God has done what the law weakened by the flesh could not do. By sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, he condemned sin in the flesh in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. For to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. Thank 
King of heaven, my treasure thou art. I, King of heaven, when victory won, may I reach heaven's joys. Lie 